Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. If you examine the Common tab of the Section Expert dialog box, you can see that many of the options which are available have formula selection buttons which are available for use. And when you normally check an option in this tab, such as Suppress for example, or many others, such as the one in the Format Editor dialog box, what you're doing is you're turning the feature or the format on or off unconditionally. Notice that the buttons which display the small blue X plus 2 symbols can be clicked con to conditionally apply a format using the Formula Editor in the Formula Workshop. Only when the formula you specify is met will the selected formatting be applied. For many of the types of formatting which you apply, you'll simply need to enter a logical test that will either evaluate to a true or false value, effectively enabling or disabling the formatting of the section. Other types of formatting, such as the background color formatting choice, where there could be a number of possibilities, will need to have a logical if-then-else statement with the possible values specified. So depending on the type of formatting you're trying to apply, you would just create the necessary formula or formulas in the formula text box and then save and close the conditional formula which you made to return to the section expert. So for example, let's say we wanted the group header to appear a certain color only if the value displayed in the group footer was over a certain amount. So we would choose the section to format and click the color tab. Check background color and then click the X2 button. What we want to know is whether the value of the sum of amount sold, which we're going to insert a reference to with a double click here, if that is greater than or equal to 675,000, which we'll just type in, well first we need to specify if it's that. So let's actually go back to home and type the word if. So if that field is greater than 675,000 and then we go to the end of the line and hit enter on our keyboard to go to the next line. So if that's true then, which I'm just going to type out, I'm going to need to choose a color. So in my functions I'm going to go for a color constant. So if it's greater than that value, let's say that we want that section then to display in a silver. We can just double click on silver to insert a reference to it. Then another enter on the keyboard to go to the next line. Else, so if it's not greater than or equal to 675,000, let's just leave it white, which is what it would normally want to display itself as. So we give that a reference with a double click. So the formula we've created in our crystal syntax says if, and then a reference to this sum of amount sold field, if that's greater than or equal to 675,000, the value we typed, then format the background as silver. Otherwise, if it's less than that, just leave it white. We can click the check button to check our syntax. It says there's no errors found, so we click OK, and then choose Save and Close. Back in the Section Expert dialog box, notice that when you do return to the Section Expert dialog box, the blue X2 button has switched to a maroon X2 button with the pencil pointing upward. That indicates the condition has been specified for the selected formatting condition. So when you've set the necessary conditions, just click OK in the Section Expert dialog box and preview the report to view the formatting which you've applied. So notice the sections that are over $675,000 for the amount sold show the name of the employee in silver, the other ones in white. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.